But what's up, y'all? I didn't know where to start today's vlog, but the, the USPS guy just dropped off a bunch of packages, so we're gonna start it with some unboxing. Crystal's gonna do the honors here. What you got, babe? Yay! Okay, first of all, this cute package. Cute package? Cute package, and we're gonna open up like this. So it said to read the whole book before I open the butterfly box. So, Ooh. let me do that first. Okay, so I just read this book, super cute by the way, and then I opened the butterfly. It's a, it's actually super cool. This was a bottle at one point and they made it into like a little, it was like a little round box thing. Um, and it was this stone inside and if you read the book, you will understand like the connection between the two. Super cute idea. I am like, that is just adorable. There's a ton more stuff in here guys. I'm like in shock. All right, so there's a whole bunch of packages in this box. It's like Christmas right now. Yeah. Be still and let your polish dry. Oh, cute. It's a book. I feel so blessed right now. So we have, so far we have a, devotion, a daily devotional, and then a little book, and then a little journal. It's all wrapped like so professionally. And yes. Just, Lots of this thought went into this. So much thought went into this. I love it. What is that? Bella Grace. All right, I'm gonna open mine now. I got three in here. All with my name on there. It's like Christmas, y'all. John C. Maxwell, No Limits. I've got a whole bunch of John C. Maxwell up here, so I love John C. Maxwell. Thank you very much for this. And then, what's this one we got here? Another John C. Maxwell, 21 Laws of Leadership. Another great read. And we got one more. How do I pronounce this? Can you, pr can you pronounce that? Fustinia? Fustinia? But they're all like Fustinia? soup, like there's like cards yeah. in each of these books. There's like place markers in each of these books of things that we should take note of. Yes, so sweet. Loretta, you went like way above and beyond here. Thank and you she, so very much. Yeah, and you know us both so well, apparently. Yeah. That's so sweet. Real quick, we want you to say a huge thanks, Loretta. I mean, honestly, anybody that sends us stuff, like it blows us away every yeah. time we get something in the mail because it's like, we don't ever expect anything, but we we're very appreciative. Yeah. Oh, and she sent us some CDs too. So we have to listen to that, but yeah. very, very appreciative. Thank you so much, Loretta. You're awesome. We realized like the thought that went into those gifts. So so much, like seriously, yeah. So much thought and like efforts and like you really decided, you, like you looked into who we were as a person and you got us those things. That's so like that's so precious to me. Thank you so much. Above and beyond for sure. Thank you very, very much. We have one more thing. Headphones. I Hard to follow up headphones with a gift like what we just got. I know. But I have actually, my headphones have just been junk and I've been buying like really cheap ones because I'm cheap. And Robert, the sweetheart that he is, got me these because he knew I wouldn't spend the money on it and he's just awesome. So thank you, babe. But I'm really excited to try these. They're cordless. So I'm excited to try these and I'll let you guys know how I like them. Alrighty, y'all. Um, I'm going to experiment this is going to be an ever evolving little concoction but i'm going to in an attempt to help with my joints and whatnot in preparation for life in general but also for this marathon i'm going to run crystal's making funny faces at me right now um i'm going to do a little i'm going to do one shot or one tablespoon of this fish oil one tablespoon of the cod liver oil probably two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and i'll probably dilute it with some water um, in this glass so I'm just gonna mix this beast up right now all right so that's how much oil that doesn't look like very much but that's a lot of oil and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and my hopes is that this you know taken proactively is going to one help with my joints but then also I'm gonna put some water in here hold on um, and then 
apple cider vinegar has a host of benefits, obviously, but one of which is kind of to regulate blood glucose and insulin. Um, I'm going to kind of dilute this quite a bit. I wish I had like a lemon. I would squeeze a lemon in here, but I don't. So here we go. Over the lips and over the gums. Not too bad. Some people drink bourbon. I drink fish oil and apple cider vinegar. By the way, today is going to be a fasting day for me. We're not going to train today. We're going to go up to Fairfield Bay, which is where Crystal's parents are staying while they're here in town. Um, it's kind of out of town. It's an hour out of town. But they're, they're big golfers. So they're golfing up there. I don't know if I'm going to golf with them or not. I cannot golf at all. So I'm probably not even going to try. I might try. But... That's what we're going to go, that's, blah, 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 blah. that's what we're going to go do today. And, um, so yeah, fasting day, I'm not training today, we're going to train tomorrow. Today's just going to be kind of, Crystal spending time with her family. She didn't spend time with her family, she hadn't seen her family in almost two years now, so I'm glad that she has that opportunity. I just drink my stuff. All right, guys, we are on our way to Fairfield Bay to visit my parents. That is where they are staying, and this view is absolutely beautiful. So take a look. Northern Arkansas, yo. Northern Arkansas. All right, y'all, so we are at the golf course in Fairfield Bay. We're going to play a round of golf with Crystal's parents. I haven't golfed in four years, so they're going to show me up, but it's going to be good. And we got golf carts, so it's going to be fun. All right, guys. So like Robert said, we are at the golf course, and I'm going to introduce you to my parents. This is my mom. <gasps> Hi. This is my mom, Julie, and my dad, Clint. Hey, how you doing? Professional golfer over here. No, no, no. Not really a professional, but he is really good. No, and then we have no. Robert over there. Trying. And, uh, yeah, we're going to play some golf. Yeah, a little, maybe a little choke, but... I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> no, just watch the ball. I, I'll watch it down the road. You watch it on the team. There you go. Well, there it is. See that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And that went in those trees. You can you can go a little lower if you want to, okay. but um, typically when you don't do it a whole lot. And remember just to watch the ball. Okay. Don't let your eye off it. Ooh, dang. Ooh. Sorry, did I hit it too? No. Weird. Nope. Oh, nice. Oh, darn it. <laughs> uh, look, oh crap. No. Yeah, there you go. That's the right. That's right by me. Mm, that's right. That's Hard enough. <laughs> Somewhere in between. Yeah. Right? Look at that. Perfect. Oh. Well, now you got out. Worked. Yeah, well, it worked. Oh, a little hard. Good shot. A little hard. Ah, it's just a little to the left. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice putt. Very nice putt. There you go. Holy crap. Woo! All right, mom's about to uh, tee off. How are you? How are you enjoying this golf we're, game? We're loving it. We're digging it. I've had a few good ones, mostly bad ones. Crystal has been doing pretty good. Thank All right, y'all, we're loading up now. Crystal out golfs me. Yeah, right. Crystal's mom is the top golfer, though, in all reality. All right, y'all, so it's actually the next morning. We just didn't really close yesterday's vlog, but um, we're about to head back to the house, the warehouse now. Crystal and I just wanted to say we had a lot of fun playing golf. No, we did. That was the second time we ever played golf. And I've never really been much of a golfer, but it was cool to do it with her folks because her dad's big into golf. Um, so it was just a cool bonding time for us. 
Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Stepping out of your comfort zone, trying. I really am into like trying new sports and things right now. Like that's one of the reasons I signed up to run a marathon the other day. So I'm gonna do that. You know, doing golf. It's just different. I like exposing myself to different things. So that was fun. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go head home and go train shoulders right now. So we'll catch y'all on the next day's vlog.